Hello everyone, this is Nanesh from Jay Spiders Panja Gutta. Recently we completed a project under the guidance of Prashant sir with the back end and Lingraj sir with the front end. Now front end will be explained by our teammate. Hello everyone, my name is Sankuma. The primary object of this project is to develop a website using Spring, HTML, CSS and JavaScript for the front end. We have used the Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code is the source code editor developed by Microsoft. Our uh, website allows the user to uh, registration, uh, for registration and uh, login securely and you can do the account creation and account related uh, operations and we have introduced the payment funding. My friend will continue the back end part. Hi everyone, myself Ashwant. Uh, me and my team has developed the back end code for this project by using Spring Boot application. We have used the tools like Eclipse for developing the code and we have used the Postman for backend testing and we have used the MySQL workbench for database operations like saving the user data and retrieving the, retrieving the operations. Now we will get into our project. Let's go. In the Spring Boot, in the Spring Boot application, we will create a four layer architecture that means uh, we use a DA, a DA object, service, and DDO, and controller classes, and uh, we use a, a repository class for our own queries. After successfully running this server, after running this server, uh, for testing the testing the application, we use the Postman tool. If you want to send the data, yes, this is our local host user uh, local host port number. We want to map with the URL. User. As the details will be show, uh, the user data will be stored in the database and see in one MySQL workbench. Yes. Refresh the table once. The user data will be get from the backend. And if you want to create an account, we have to pass the account. Account and account details. Slash one. The user data will be saved. So account details will be saved. If you want to uh, get this account, if you want to get slash account account number, the account data will be get. If you want to get the both, then go to account. You then go to user. Then user slash one. Here we have the user sign in part and account part. This is the sign in form. First, we, have, we don't have any uh, user account. We have clicked on the sign in part. User save successful. Done. Now, user has registered. Now, he has to sign in. Login success. Now we can get into the payment wallet. Like yeah, you can create the account, you can get the account, or you can delete the account. Payment related operations. Before clicking the, before going to create the account, if we click on the ID account operation, it should says he has to create an account. The account creation part. Account saved successfully. We are trying to get the account. account present. This is the account details part. When we click on the logo, it goes to the home page. Now, here 
we can go to the account part like this we, uh, when we tap on the account it goes to the account page if he has an this is a payment wallet uh, main part of our project if you click on the payment wallet it goes to uh, let's go after here we have the three options that send amount and receive amount and check balance the send amount and receive amount uh, is the future enhancement of our project uh, while clicking on uh, check balance you get the account details here if you, get, if you give the account number here you will get the balance If you give in the correct account number only, we get that account check balance of per If we get if we give in the correct number of account number, we get the balance of this. Now we have given a correct current account number and shows we go okay. And it displays our account balance. Now we'll let's we see the code how, how we return this front end part. This will open the front end part, and this is our main index part, and it will be plain view. This is the main HTML page of our project. From here, we have deeper the CSS part and the JavaScript part. This is the sign-in part. Here we have written the functionality for everyone, for everything like uh, uh, validation of email, name, and all of this. And this is the data we will fetch from the backend and comes to the frontend. If the data is there, here we are storing it in the system storage. And if there is an error, it goes to the caches. Return a functionality like if the user has signed in again, he, he clicks on click on the sign in button already or login. In. This is the pop up we have shown here. This is the logout functionality. When we click on the logout, it asks us confirm done. When we click on the logout again, it shows you are not logged in. When we have Access in, try to access the account, it shows first you have to sign in. This is the part, this is the web page. This is our website. It is an user friendly and uh, sending and receiving an account is our future announcement as we previously said. To complete this project, we have taken three days of time for the back end part. For the front end part, it has taken one week of time. For testing this application, we have taken two days and still we are developing this application for further references.